Hello, good morning. It's Allison here from Imperfect in Pearls. I'm having some coffee. It's okay, it's 1115 uh, and it's decaf anyway, but um, I do like my coffee. It's just, I drink it for the flavor now. It's so good. So as you can see, a bit of change of scenery today, or really lack of scenery. I got some much needed feedback that the background in my other room, which is my office slash sewing room slash I throw my crap in there, was maybe a little distracting. There was like a mirror and my ironing board and a light and a calendar and, you know, it's, uh, it's not a soothing clutter-free, non-distracting background. So I personally think this looks much more profesh. And I also realized today that I wanted to talk a little bit more about imperfection before I get into the makeup video. So as you know, I wanted to entitle my channel Imperfect in Pearls because I am imperfect, but I love pearls. And really, okay, we've got We've got some little um, freshwater pearls here. They were, they've been in my family. I, they've, they were either my grandmother's or my aunt's. I should know that. Um, but then these ones, which I've been wearing the last couple videos, uh, and I also wore them at my wedding, so they're very, very special to me. But let's talk about imperfection. I love the fact that all humans are imperfect, myself included, I actually try to embrace that. I know exactly what my flaws are. My husband reminds me. <laughs> he reminds me a lot. But I also embrace my flaws. Like, he thinks I'm a total dork, and I tend to believe him, but we laugh about it. We laugh at how, like, goofy, silly, ridiculous I am. He watched only the first couple minutes and the, and the last couple of minutes of my first video and he just laughed. Um, so I want you all to embrace your imperfection. Although, you know, makeup can change how we look and feel about ourselves. It can affect our confidence. Um, just know that you're never going to be perfect. No one is. You're never going to look perfect. But feel free to get that extra confidence from makeup, which is what I like so much about it. Okay, and I've also realized that I'm a total face girl. Like, I do very little on my eyes. I wear lipstick sometimes, but I tend to forget to put it back on throughout the day. But I want my complexion to be good. And of course, you all know that I have this redness on my cheeks, particularly this one. It does make me a little self-conscious, which is why I, I do use foundation or my version of foundation. And I'm really always striving for a better one. Um, so let's focus on the face again. But this is the third video that's really focusing on my face. So eventually I'll do something with eyes or lips or something. Um, but so I mentioned the other day, like I had said that I hadn't put very much energy into actually trying to find a foundation that really works for me. But then... I noticed all these products, right, and yesterday's video included some of those products that I have tried, and I retried them, and I wanted to give this one another shot. This is, oh, there it is. Oh, it's so shiny. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup Broad Spectrum 15. So, when I first bought this, I thought that I would probably use it as, like, an all-in-one foundation, and then... I think I got home and like I put it on and it just looked like powder and it didn't really give me that much coverage and so I just like switched it I started using it as a top uh, like just powder on top of my foundation but then I realized it says apply with a chisel brush see I don't I don't really read stuff uh, so sometimes that's to my detriment using the chisel brush apply in circular motions to achieve an even and flawless finish Okay, so I was applying it with a like a big fat powder blush before, like even when I was trying to put it on like foundation, but that's not, I don't think that worked. So I wanted to try it again and I want to stay with the whole priming theme and seeing if the primer is helping. So again, I will use this one, the only one I have right now. I will try more eventually. I would, I would love to try other ones and see the difference. Um, 
I will prime before we put this on like an all-in-one foundation and powder. In fact, it says four-in-one. What is that? Foundation, concealer, powder, and what? I don't know. We'll try it. Half my face primed the whole face with this. Let's see what happens. Okay, I am primed. I also put the brightness down a little bit on the camera. I feel like you can hopefully see a little better. I don't know if you noticed a change just then when I had um, paused to prime, but I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to take my chisel brush, which is what I always use for foundation, and it makes sense that if I'm going to use this as foundation, that um, we should use the appropriate brush. So this side of my face, the left side of my face has been primed. This side has not been, but of course I did my normal morning routine, washing my face and using my eye cream and my everyday moisturizer. Uh, and you get it, okay. So I'm gonna go to the non-primed side first. It said, it did say apply it in a circular motion. Oh, I need a bigger mirror. Why am I doing that? Apply in a circular motion. Okay, it is, it is covering. Yeah, so when I had used this before, or you know, when I had just like put it on, but with the wrong brush, the powder brush, um, I just didn't feel like it was doing anything. Like it just, yeah, it just kind of went on like powder, but now that I'm, and I'm really getting in there. Like, well, there's a lot of product on there, so hopefully it's not too much. I don't know, we, we will see. Um, but I kind of feel like, you know, you need that to actually get enough on your face so that you can tell. I guess I could just do the whole face. I don't know why I'm doing one side at a side at a time. Um, yeah, let's just let's just keep going, right? Yeah, duh. just keep going on the primed side. I feel like I'm a little apprehensive to do it in a circular motion on the prime side because I don't want to disturb the primer. But I'm just gonna, regardless, I'm just gonna follow their instructions, and we'll see. I mean, it's, it's definitely covering my redness. It is so interesting. And it is very matte. Definitely, definitely, definitely matte. As you would presume, right? Because it is powder. Uh, try to see if, and you guys, I'm sure you can't tell that my red cheek is still showing up a little red. I'm going to see if I can do like, like layer it a bit and see if it gets more, more coverage. <laughs> yeah, I think it did. This is, this is like very interesting. This is very, very interesting. I've, okay, so I've had this product for a while and this is like, the first time I've actually used it according to the way it's supposed to be used. And if you like that finish, like I said, not a hint of shine, I would give it a thumbs up. I really would. I mean, for it's actually kind of blowing my mind that it covers, it cover, it covers the redness. It's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and again, like I don't really see a difference between primed and unsub from prime. Not, not really. Maybe unprimed is actually a tiny, tiny bit better. So let's see how this works when I put my other typical products on it. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer highlight situation here. And I do a little bit up here as well. I have to figure out the lighting, you guys. I don't know. Natural light is good, but now I feel like it's just washing me out and you can't actually 
see the product. Oh, you can see it better if I back up. Yeah, you can actually see it better like if I back up. Okay, okay, yeah, you could actually see the blush bronzer situation now. Okay, very interesting. I'll just, I'll just lean it on back. No, I'm gonna come in a little bit. Yeah, but it does, yeah, okay. I'll figure this out eventually. Um, yeah. All right, so I closed the blinds just a little bit more in this room and I adjusted the brightness on the camera. This might be a bit better. I feel like you can actually see that I've bronzed and blushed a little bit as opposed to just being completely washed out. And that is so interesting. You can definitely, you can tell more the further I am away. Okay, whatevs. Like I said the other day, I think my camera sucks. Um, I'm just gonna go off camera for a second and do my, just like brush my brows and do my mascara real quick. And then we'll finish it up with maybe like a, maybe like a neutral lipstick today. And then I'll give you the whole feel of how I think this powder four in one foundation really worked. Okay, hold on. I'm back. Uh, lashes are actually looking pretty good today. Um, I actually, I remembered to curl the side that doesn't curl, so. That's a plus. I, like I said, I wanted to go in with kind of a nude, neutral lipstick, so this is just a totally pure day. We used the pure 4-in-1 um, powder foundation thing, and then I'm going to also use a pure lipstick, which is called Stripped. Okay, I only have the one pure lipstick. Do they all do this? And then they have, they have a little mirror so that you can put your lipstick on. I don't know if they all do that because, you know, I don't really know a lot of stuff about makeup, like I said, but I'm trying and this is fun. So, um, this is a nice, uh, daytime kind of neutral. This, uh, I got this in like a three pack. It did actually come with a, um, lip pencil too, but I can't find it. It's probably mixed in with my, um, probably mixed in with like my eye pencils, like my eyeliners. And I'm just, and I just thought of that, so. And look, okay. It also came with, a three, the three pack was the liner, the lipstick, and um, a gloss. The gloss also has a little mirror like right on the side of it. It's, it. I just think it's very ingenious. I, I'm impressed. I should probably buy more of their products. And, oh yeah, and, can you see that? There's a little light. You guys probably already know this. You probably already like, yeah, duh, all pure gloss. So look, there's a little light to help you put it. It's so cute, right? It's very, very helpful. I do really like this combination. I used to wear this to work all the time. Um, I like the gloss. It's just like such a pretty little neutral. I'm gonna back up again because he seem to be seems to be able to see things way better in like the actual product better uh, the further back I am. But uh, so yeah, so overall, I think if, like I said, if, if you like a powdery finish, by all means, I mean, that actually, it actually covers, it is, it is not cakey. I mean, it looks, looks like powder. It's just so mad, but it's not, it's really not cakey. It is really, I'm impressed. I think, like I said, I want something a little less matte for my everyday but um but i'm i'm definitely impressed with that if that's the kind of thing that you are looking for and um wow i have to i just i love this color it's a pretty lip color right that's that's nice and i've got my pearls simple black long sleeve t-shirt pearls and you know i feel like i could actually go somewhere i feel like this looks pretty decent uh the only problem is that I can't 
go anywhere because, uh, you know, the virus. And if I did, I would have to cover up the whole nice part of my face, which is the, which is the complexion and the bronzer and the lipstick. So not going anywhere, but I'll wear this around the house while I clean and stuff. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is third video, three days in a row. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything over the weekend, but um, we'll see. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.